Hello YouTube, new week, new me. Uh, new tutorial. I just want to go over how I made that dust trail. I just want to do step-by-step -step process for you in After Effects. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, the first thing we want to do is just make a stroke. Just center it in our composition. Make sure it has a white fill or a white stroke, no fill. Go into the stroke menu and we're going to change the taper. This time the start length will be about 20%. 30 actually, and then 100 on the end length. That's sort of the shape of the smoke, so we're on the right track. Then in the wave settings, let's put the amount to around 60, 70%, and then the wavelength, just bump up till it, it seems right. Um, that looks about right to me. And then the phase, we're basically doing the exact same expression we used on the, uh, on the rocket fuel. Time times negative 500. Looks pretty good to me. The next thing we want to do is uh, mask off the bottom half of this. So I'm just going to create a shape, give it a fill, no stroke, move it down, and then I can just do invert mat here. You could also do an alpha mat if the shape was on the top half of the composition. There you go. Look at that. That's basically the effect. I would definitely encourage you to play with these values. So I'm going to do that a little bit here, just kind of fine tune it. Cool. I, I kind of like how this looks. Um, I pushed this a little bit farther by adding an adjustment layer. And then using CC slant to kind of give it a, a slanted look. Make sure you um, center the floor on the effect first to the center of your composition, and you can just slant it a little bit. And it kind of gives it another little fun little style. I, I kind of like how it looks with the, with the slant on it. Um, and then to give it that outline look, I actually changed the stroke width or the stroke color from white to black, and then made a layer style stroke. And this stroke goes over everything. There is one thing that can happen when you're making this. You see like right here, there's a little a little point to this first smoke billow. And it's really subtle. Luckily, with the uh, you know the properties I have and the values I use, it's really subtle, but it can be a lot worse. To fix this, just go to the start ease, bump it up a little bit to like 30%. It's totally gone. So yeah, that's basically what I did to make the uh, smoky dust trail. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit me with a like, comment, and a subscription. I appreciate it very much. Until next time, see you guys later. Cool, that's it for me. Peace. <laughs> so, <laughs> I can't do an outro, man.